<sighs> okay let's do this hello everyone and welcome to a new video so today i'm going to be tackling one of the other rooms that i have been putting off for a very long time this room unlike the guest room has kind of seen some clean days uh but today is definitely not one of them like it has been much worse than this though it's just kind of in a state of disarray and i've just been putting it off this is my office and it's meant to be like a place where i can go to relax a place where i can go to work and to feel inspired and not anxious but it has just kind of felt like a place that really is making me anxious lately it does not feel like somewhere inspiring at all and it has just been a place where i've been closing the door and pretending it doesn't exist which is obviously not very conducive to working from home like i work from home all the time and i need somewhere where i can actually work lately i've just been working from the couch but then i just spend all my time on the couch and it's nice to have the office to have some separation between like a space where i'm working and a space where i am relaxing so i would like to get this space back into a functional order and I think coming in here, like after coming from the guest room, it definitely doesn't look as bad as I remember. It's just kind of the little odds and ends that I need to figure out as well as all of these books here. So I've talked about it like for so long that these are all the books that I've acquired over the past year, more than a year now actually, and I've just meant to do a book haul. I'm just kissing that idea goodbye. I'm not going to do a book haul. It's not going to happen if we're being realistic. So we're just going to shelf them and that is going to be quite the task honestly uh, that's going to take quite a while and i think that will probably be one of the last things that i do i think the first step is going to be getting everything kind of off of the floor and going from there honestly i'm probably also going to sort through my shelves get rid of some stuff maybe like get rid of some books that i just don't think i will actually end up reading and yeah, I honestly don't really know where to start in here, which is actually no different than everywhere else. The closet, as you can see, is actually clean because I took care of this when I was doing, like, putting away the laundry, finally. I do need to go through those bins and, like, some stuff on the floor, but I think that's going to be a project for another day because I would just like to focus on getting the actual stuff that is just out around here taken care of first and then I can declutter. Paper clutter is like the bane of my existence, like receipts and everything because I need to keep this stuff for taxes, but I just end up like shoving it up here. So I'm actually going to take this basket here and just put all of that stuff in here for now and then I will sort through it later, like today ideally or tomorrow, but just not right now. I just want to get it out of the way for right now and have paper be consolidated into one spot. And then I also think it will be a good idea for me to like come up with some sort of method where I put the paper in there and then I process it and then it's done, if that makes sense. But for now, I'm just going to get it out of the way. We're focusing on taking care of the clutter that's already here and then we will work on making a system so there is no more clutter. I'm also now just going around and grabbing any like garbage or whatever that has been sitting around and I'm going to put it out in the hall because I still have the garbage from the guest room and I can just kind of consolidate everything. This is going to be my bin for things that I need to bring downstairs that need a new home. Okay, my mission was to kind of clear off some of those top shelves because I do have room to kind of shift things, but I have a lot to squeeze in. So I ended up actually moving some of these books downstairs, but quite a few of them to the guest room. So, ta-da! I feel like adding books to this space just seems like cozy. I don't think it seems cluttered. I wanted it to just kind of look like, I don't know, like it's actually used space and not so sterile. So we've got a little basket of books, we've got stack over there, some nice ones there. So I am pretty happy with this, I believe. Yeah. These books mostly actually already have a home. It's just from a video that I filmed, so they just need to be reshelved. But the ultimate conundrum that I'm kind of having is what do I do with my self-help books? Because that has been a recent obsession, so 
they don't really have a home or a place to go. Now I did recently pick up a rolling cart and I was thinking of trying to make that like my little self-help book cart, uh, but I don't know if they're all gonna fit on there. I don't really know what to do with the self-help books right now. One might say that I need help with that and I don't know if I don't know if I am beyond help. Like I also could put a shelf where this is but I don't have a shelf right now so I'd like to try and like figure out a solution without that. I think that's kind of putting me at a standstill here a little bit so I think that might be a sign that I need to kind of take a step back and wait a little bit and then I will start shelving like the actual books that well not actual not that you know what I mean I'll start shelving the rest of the books within here and then I guess I'll go from there and see what I'm working with space wise and what I want to do because I do have two shelves downstairs as well but I don't really want to just kind of like shove these downstairs I don't think I think I would like to have them kind of more readily accessible I don't know we'll figure it out okay so I decided that I wanted to go to the thrift store to try and find something for the self-help books I have never been to the thrift store here also it's like almost noon wow it's actually earlier than I thought but it's almost noon on a Saturday and it's like close-ish to Halloween so I have a feeling it's gonna be really busy I don't know if I'll film there and yeah I'm gonna stay away from like the Halloween and the clothes section and I'm going to just like look at the furniture probably and see if I can find anything there I'm not entirely sure if I will be successful or not because like I said I've never been here but we're gonna try and we're gonna see uh my phone is falling though so I'm gonna go bye <laughs> I got home like probably half an hour ago. What time is it even? Okay, it's only 1.15, so not that bad. Uh, but I did end up getting, I went to quite a few stores because I was like, I my current hyper fixation is trying to figure out where these self-help books are gonna go. Uh, and I can't stop thinking about it. So first I was like, okay, I'll get like a utility cart for the office and put them there. But I think that would be outgrown quickly. So I have a utility cart that I got a while ago that I was planning on returning. And then I was like, maybe I'll build that. And then I was like, no. So then I went to Michael's. I went to like a few furniture stores because I was like, maybe I could find a bookshelf to put in the guest room, which would also kind of add a little bit to the guest room. And I just couldn't find anything that I liked. So then I started looking online. I did end up actually getting a cart at Michael's, but the first one that I have is a three tier. So then I picked up a four tier but I think I'm gonna return that now because I think what I'm gonna do is go to Ikea. I'm not going today. There's no way I'm going at like 1.15 on a Saturday. That sounds absolutely horrible. So I'll probably try to go for opening tomorrow, but there's this bookshelf, which is only $40, which is definitely a plus. And I think it would look quite nice in the guest room. And that's definitely something that like, I could use for a while so it's not something that I feel like I would outgrow I'm trying not to get like all of these little bits of furniture that don't really match and are just kind of there for storage because it's starting to bug me that I have like plastic drawers in the bedroom and stuff like that like I want a more permanent solution where it doesn't look so cheap I guess like I feel like those things don't really look nice and I'm kind of over that uh, so to speak so yeah I can't like reserve it for click and collect because there's only seven left, which is unfortunate. Uh, but if I can't get it this time, then like I'll just figure something out. But I think that this will be nice. Do I want to build it? No, I really don't want to build anything, but I mean, it's fine. It's also skinny, which is nice because I'm kind of needing something like it looks like it just fits books, um, which is kind of what I'm needing. I don't want something that's too wide because or too deep i guess because i don't want it to like obstruct the flow of traffic in the guest room so i think that this is actually in the perfect like size and everything but i really need to stop like just sitting here and looking at this stuff because i'm just wasting time that i could be spending like actually cleaning the freaking office so i am going to go upstairs and get back to actually cleaning the office now
that is enough procrastinating. I think it's bookshelving time. So what is the plan? Great question. Um, I don't really know how I want to go about this because I've never had to shelve, like, I don't think a volume like this of books, like fit them into my shelves, but I've just been putting it off for so long that I just don't know what my plan of attack is exactly. Like, I feel like logically I would go through before, kind of get rid of some things that I know I'm not going to read, be honest with myself about that, and just then shelf stuff. But is that what I actually want to do? I don't really know. I guess it's the thing that makes the most sense. So yeah, let's start with that. Actually, no, that seems like an awful time. I don't really want to do that right now. So my step one is going to be to take off all of the like little trinkets and things that are on the shelves. And then I'll have just like clear access to all the books. You get the point, this is really boring. I'll update you guys when something vaguely interesting happens. So I took all of the just stuff off of the shelf, all the little trinkets and everything. Now I'm going to set aside my self-help books. Now that I'm looking at this area, I'm feeling like maybe I do want to put a little cart here because I feel like it could be useful even if I don't put books in it. It could be useful for other reasons. I don't really know, I'm really indecisive right now, um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So first step is just going to be taking all these self-help books and piling them in one spot since they are going to go in a different spot. And then I will tackle the rest of these and like basically what I do is I just sort them by color first. It's not all that complicated, truly but at least having all the self-help books kind of like gathered in one spot is going to help me see how many I have because I honestly don't know. I know they're all on here, but then there are also a couple just hanging out in other random spots. I'm also going to set aside the Christmas books because I keep my Christmas books on the shelf downstairs, which I need to go through later, but these will be going with the rest of the Christmas books. This is honestly probably the self-help book that like started it all for me. It's one of the ones that I feel like I read it at the right time and it just really spoke to me way more than I was expecting it to. So that's everything. We've got Christmas here. I have way more than I was expecting and then all of the self-help. So we have three stacks there. That's a lot. Now for the rest of this. I'm not looking forward to this. I have put this off for far too long to the point where it is going to be a major task. It's fine. We're getting it done. We're, we're gonna do it today. <laughs> sorted which really didn't take me too long there's only a couple that I'm like I don't know where I want to put you but usually I just kind of go by my instinct now the way that I'm going to do this might seem a little bit counterintuitive to be honest but it makes sense to me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by like moving this shelf to maximize the space because I have like three shelves that are empty so I'm going to move everything up I'm going to shift everything to take up the most space over here so then I can go and actually like add in the new books now I know that I well I shouldn't say I know. I'm pretty sure that I will have some extra room so that I'm going to go back and wiggle the other way. It does make sense. To me, it's the easiest way to do it, to be entirely honest. But I can see how it might seem kind of silly because, like, I'm doing things twice. But at the same time, there's kind of no way of getting around it because if I start with the red and then try to, like, shift everything over, it's going to be confusing because I'm going to have to take off big chunks of books and then I'm just going to end up like moving a shelf anyways. It's just, this makes sense, okay? <laughs>
since I had moved everything over, <laughs> um, or at least up, and I decided that it makes more sense for me to like put because basically what's happening is I'm now working between two shelves with colors on them because usually this one just has like white and brown and black so it's kind of the uglier of the two shelves like I don't really know how to make it look nice um but what I was thinking was oh it actually makes more sense to have the like color at the top rather than I was going to add it at the bottom which I mean makes sense like the way I've been shelving but aesthetically it doesn't make sense. So now I'm moving everything over and I actually was gonna keep this shelf empty, but I think I'm gonna keep maybe one shelf over there empty, if I can, because I'm also kind of thinking that I may have underestimated the amount of new books that I have to shelve. So I might not be able to, but I'll try, we'll see. These shelves are so dusty and I know that this would be the perfect opportunity to like dust them and wipe them down, but I can't be bothered to be honest like I need to not give myself extra steps or else I'm not gonna do anything at all and I do read my books by the way it's just like there's so many that it's it's bound to collect dust okay it's messy in here whatever I don't need to explain myself <laughs> totally missed a shelf of pink but I am almost done once I get the hot pink stuff on there there's like a full shelf right there I don't know how I missed it whatever behind me is done I mean it's not like perfectly color organized but all the pink books are there at least I don't know how I feel about it yet I think right now it's kind of giving me a uh, Barbie vibes and I don't think that's in a good way like I don't think I like the fact that it's just brown and black and white I think there should be another color over there other than just the pink because the pink is like sticking out like an absolute sore thumb. So what I'm thinking, and this is why these projects always take me so long, is that I might move the white books to the bottom here, like the white and the brown books to the bottom here. So then I can have the purple books on that shelf as well. That might make it a little bit less jarring because right now I think it's just very, oh, pink but I think having the purple over there might help out. But I'm making so much more work for myself. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna do that now. I'm not gonna film it though, because you're, I already have so much footage of me moving books. You get the point. I'll check in when I'm done. Okay, that took quite a while, but we are done with this side. Now I just need to finish this side. But over here, we now have some blue leading into purple and then pink and then black. And then over here is like gray, brown, and white, and then the rest of the blue. Obviously there's like the rest of the rainbow as well, but you get the gist of it. So I'm actually really happy with this decision because when I'm like standing where you guys are, the rainbow is like all around now. It's not just in one spot. I think my one thing looking at it is that the pink still kind of sticks out but that's gonna be fixed soon because right now the brighter books are kind of like in the corner but i'm gonna move them over here i definitely need to like fix the color ordering because it's not very good right now but the tones of purple that are like on this side and the tones of blue that are on this side are darker but i will fix that and then i think it will be like bright through the middle and it will look fine but i'm leaving it like i've gone back and forth some of these books have changed shelves so many times. My fingers and my hands are cramping because I'll like widen my hands as much as I pretty much can to get as many books as I can. And it does, it starts to hurt after a while. Sorry if you hate knuckle cracking, but uh, yeah, I'm going to work on the rest of these because this should be the easier part. Unless I run out of room, which is going to be tragic. So uh, good vibes, okay? Good vibes. I don't think I will, but I'm <laughs> okay i'm done for now i've kind of had enough um so i'm going to take a break and do some of my other to-do list things but 
it is looking good. Like I have a couple of empty shelves. You can't see them. I have the, I never take out the tripod for this reason, but I've got a couple of empty shelves there that you can see. I'm going to try and shift them to like where the desk will kind of hide it. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about how things are looking. I have like wiggle room on all of the shelves as well. I made sure not to like shove them all kind of full. I'm just feeling a little bit drained and it is like, I've been doing this for a while now and it is a pretty intensive task. So that doesn't surprise me, but like all the books are off the floor, except obviously like the self-help ones, which I still need to figure out what's happening there. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's good to go. And I did only decide to unhaul a few. So the last magician I DNF'd, so I wanted to just get rid of that one. I felt like that made sense. Same with A Magic Steeped in Poison. This one was sent to me, I have no clue what it's about. And then this arc, I have a finished copy of. Fell Heart's Huntsman. Fell Heart Huntsman? Why is that so far hard for me to say? I can't speak, I need to relax a bit. I decided I'm gonna go for it. There is like plenty of space there. And I think that even if I end up hating this in that space, then I can use this downstairs like I can use it somewhere else felt like a good plan to me sorry I've been up and down the stairs bringing stuff downstairs and uh my cardio is awful right now but I'm hoping that this is going to be easy to build uh but I'm also not exactly optimistic about it I guess we'll see they had one that was also like longer bins but I felt like this one might be the best choice for me I don't really know I don't know how many books I'm going to be able to fit in here this one does seem kind of rickety uh because it has a maximum of six pounds per tray I'm still gonna put all the books on it like that's definitely more than six pounds I would say probably I'm not very good at weight things but I'm just gonna do it I don't know <laughs> adjusting the shelves which are super easy to adjust actually like this thing is way taller than I was expecting uh, I don't know what I was expecting but it is definitely much taller than I thought it would be but not like in a bad way it's just taller than my desk I will say like it's not the sturdiest thing that I've ever owned slash built it was super easy to build which is awesome uh, it was very quick and easy but yeah it's not like super I think the weight requirement is more like if you're gonna wheel it around all the time which I don't really plan on doing I plan on kind of like sitting it in the corner and then that's where it's gonna be but I think I should be able to fit most if not all of these books <laughs> good for now definitely not very stable like definitely uh that is not that conservative of a weight limit this is made to carry like feathers uh but I think if I keep it in that one spot it's fine I did not notice that that one was not fully tightened and it had completely tilted uh but other than that like it's fine like I can theoretically move it I just don't feel the greatest when I do that. So I'm just going to keep it where it is. There's not much of a semblance of organization here, to be entirely honest. You can't even see my face, how lovely. Basically what's going on here is just like TBR, TBR. Half of these I have actually read. On the bottom we have some more TBR, but they're taller. And I have some books that I've read, but I didn't really like them hidden behind here. To try and like even it out because I was also like oh all the weight is kind of like forward which isn't exactly ideal so maybe I need to add some kind of like trinkets and then that will even it out but I don't want it to be messy I don't know I think it's fine can you imagine if it just collapsed right now that would be kind of funny um but also not funny but yeah I think that this is like this is a solid solution it's definitely not going to work forever because it is already 
full. I had like literally just enough room, except I mean behind there is still some room, but you know, I only have so much faith in this thing. So I think this works for now. Now I just have garbage everywhere, so I'm going to take care of that. I'm so close to the end, honestly, but I just have the last like little tiny, tiny bits to do, but my desk is covered in all the stuff that goes on my shelves and I still need to kind of like color organize, but I'm going to do that during my live show. So I'm going to take a break and do some other things because I haven't done anything else on my to-do list today, to be entirely honest. So the shelves are all done officially. The white I didn't really bother with, to be entirely honest, but I was more concerned about like the top part of everything. But yay, the floor is looking pretty good. I need to do something about these cords. Not sure what yet. Have packages to unbox. And then just this stuff needs to be gone through. And other than that, I need to figure out what my plan is for my desk. There's kind of no helping this lighting because the light is coming from here, but I don't have anywhere to put the camera over there. Anyways, my desk is supposed to be obviously like a place where I can sit for a long period of time and do work. And I also want it to be kind of like an inspirational place in a way. And I feel like it hasn't been that for a while. So I want to figure out kind of a better configuration and see, I don't know, what I like. Like I actually have two desk risers, like desktop risers for this computer, which is my personal computer. But then I also have this here and this is on like a standing desk thing. So I'm trying to figure out like what is the best configuration. Right now I've kind of had it like this and this works, but like do I want the computer here? But then it blocks the window entirely. So that's kind of where I'm like, I do think I like it off to the side a little bit, which means that I will have to use the one riser rather than the other. I don't really know. I feel like I don't have like enough to figure out what I want to do here. Like I don't really, know what I want to be on the desktop but I know I don't really want it to look like it does now like I've had this thing for such a long time and I think that it's time for it to go because it's not really functional it just kind of sits there this might require me to go on a trip to winners to be entirely honest we'll start and just kind of see what we can do I did get this lamp and this for sure I think would be fun on here and it kind of fits with the acrylic stuff that I have because the desktop riser that I have is also acrylic. Tap and hold. Ooh. Yeah, see, that's fun. I like that a lot. And it changes colors. Mm. Yes, I like that. Okay, I think I'm going to run to Winners and see what else I can find for my desk. Hopefully Winners will be enough and I won't have to go to HomeSense because I feel like there's going to be traffic, but we'll find out. I left at 11.30. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go straight to HomeSense. I didn't want to go to HomeSense just because it is far. It's half an hour away. But I was like, I think I'll have better luck. Turns out that was a lie. Uh, yeah, I went to HomeSense out there, went to Staples out there, didn't find anything. So then on my way back, I stopped at Winners again and I found a couple of things, but it really wasn't super successful, but it still took forever. Someone explained that to me. So first of all, this is the thing that I got on another day like the laptop or not laptop stand but you know what I mean so I probably am going to keep this on just until I decide exactly what I'm wanting to do now this bag is full but like it's deceiving I went to the dollar store got toys for the dogs not that many and then they had the acrylic bins there they weren't a dollar because it's called Dollarama, but nothing is a dollar anymore. I do remember when it was all a dollar, but I got this with the intent of like, maybe I could put incoming mail and papers that I need to sort in here. So on one side I could put receipts and then on the other side I could put papers. I don't know, we'll see. And then I just got a few of these bins because I think like some of the things that I have just on the bottom shelves of my desk, it would be better to put them in bins. So I got a couple of bigger ones and then I figured I'd get one like square one just in case I needed it. I don't know. Bin shopping is always hard because I'm like, I don't know what I need. And then I got these drawers. So this was kind of expensive, 30 bucks, but I decided to just go for it. So I think this is where I'm going to keep like my pens and writing utensils and all of that. I think it might be kind of like a cleaner way to organize all that stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm sweating so 
much right now it's disgusting i never started recording because i just wanted to kind of like focus and get this done and i'm still not really happy with it like i don't know what i'm wanting from here maybe i need to look on pinterest and look for some kind of like inspo but i feel like it's not really giving me it uh but i did what i could like i'm working with what i've got you know so behind me you can see stuff is in baskets so that's fun we have my laptop stand just like random books and then i actually took the journals out of my drawers because they were in there and i never saw them because they were at the back of the drawer and then up top here i did end up moving my computer to the middle just because that was where it made sense but this is what's happening it looks fine i think it's just like this area that's throwing me off but like i don't really have another option it kind of just has to stay like that so i don't know it is what it is i did go through all the drawers though and like sort them out organize them so i'm feeling really good about that because i got rid of quite a few things and like the drawers are much more usable especially this top drawer it just had a ton of cords on the top but now i can actually use it and like see all the stuff in there yeah i, I just i don't know i'm not really feeling this space uh, and i'm also not really feeling like cleaning downstairs which was my next step after i finish this room so I'm going to take another break, which I feel like is mostly what I've done cleaning this room, but it's been a task, okay? So, yeah, break time. Okay, I'm feeling good enough to call this room done. I feel like there's always going to be a little something, like I haven't finished, sorry, Charlie, nope, Archer is itching himself. I still haven't gone through the papers, but I don't want to overwhelm myself and like say that I have to do that. I would rather take another day to do that so then I can be more thorough and not be rushing through it but i am otherwise feeling like other than the fact that i have to bring stuff downstairs still this room is done it definitely is so much better than it was before i haven't had all my books shelved in absolute ages i honestly couldn't even tell you the last time that they were all shelved so i'm feeling really really good about that and really good about the state of things i definitely could like declutter my closet a little bit more but like i said that's going to be a project for another day so Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it gave you some motivation to maybe clean up a room that you have been putting off for a very long time. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in another new video soon. Bye. Thank you, Charlie. Goodbye, floppy paws. Oh.